Hello, I'm Kenny Keller with Helicopter Online Ground School, and I'm excited to announce this week, the middle of May 2016, we're introducing a brand new private pilot section. We're taking the training that we've had that was formerly based on the practical test standards, and we've designed a new course of training that's more specific as far as aerodynamics, navigation, cross country, so on, so on and so forth. And I think a lot of you people are going to like it. First, I'm going to show you how we've divided them up. You're in the introduction now. Number two, aerodynamics of flight. Three, helicopter flight controls. Four, helicopters components, sections, and systems. Rotorcraft flight manual. Weight and balance. Helicopter performance. Ground and flight preparations. Lesson nine, basic flight maneuvers. Lesson 10, advanced flight maneuvers. Lesson 11, all about auto rotations. Lesson 12, emergency operations and helicopter hazards. Lesson 13, Attitude Instrument Flying. Lesson 14, nice op Night Operations. Lesson 15, Effective Aeronautical Decision Making. Lesson 16, Airspace. 17, Navigation. 18, Weather. 19, aeromedical, aeromedical. And then the stuff that's geared specifically for the practical st test standards is now in one section. I'm really excited about this because a lot of members over the years have said, you know, well, you know, they like the original modules and that was random. Then I went with the practical test standards and it was better, but still the way the PTS is set up, the PTS does kind of jump around. And that's one reason they're moving to what they call the ACS, the Airman Certification Standards. But after speaking recently with a spokesman from the FAA or a representative of the FAA, he said it's probably going to be two years before the ACS comes out for helicopters. They're working on the fixed wing side of it now, but the helicopter the part is not ready. So I was kind of waiting around to see what happened with the ACS. And then after I found out, well, it's not going to be, you know, probably available for two more years for helicopters. I thought, okay, for the people that wanted more organization, I'm going to go ahead and get with it. And I basically used several different syllabuses that I looked at and came up with one that I like that made sense and it's going to be following helicopter flying handbook which is our helicopter bible and what you should be working with so let's take a look at the aerodynamics section specifically because this is one I know that over the years when I've met with members or talked to them online or you know through email or on the phone whichever the case may be aerodynamics is the one that they always bring up how you know, when you follow the PTS, the aerodynamics jump all around through those 10 sections of the PTS. And people want to, a lot of the times, they want to go through the aerodynamics all in at one shot. So here we go. As of right now, we have drag, lift, the lift equation, airfoil, translating tendency, pendular action, coning, Coriolis effect, gyroscopic precession, airflow and forward flight, dissymmetry of lift, dissymmetry of lift definition. Effective translational lift, and then we're going to have one more section just on the aerodynamics of auto rotation. So that's a look at our new Private Pilot Helicopter Ground School, May 2016. We do have a new system now within Online Ground School that we can email direct members of any section in there, which is nice, but I also think doing more live events and getting people to interact is going to be, you know, another great way to interact and keep people jet landing taken off to keep people involved and answer questions and let people know about updates so in conclusion any questions put them in the box below I'll be answering these questions and all week we're going to be uploading content right now we have everything that was in the PTS has now moved over and we're we have new content never seen content being added and we're also going to be producing some other new stuff this week so a lot of really cool stuff going on. I think people are going to love this. They've been asking for it for years. And the timing was just right with the equipment I have now and the technology and with our new ground school site. Our original site uh, wouldn't be as easy to do what I'm doing now with restructuring the whole thing. Another reason why I kind of drug my feet, it took me so long to reorganize the whole thing was just due to the technology. You know, our original line ground school was cool and we still have people in there consuming it and it's up and live. I had some members that were a little upset and said, well, you know, I like the old side. They didn't really want to switch to the new one and that's fine. But what people have to understand is the change in technology. You know, that site was five years old and this site being brand new, 
for the better of everyone, for me to make it easier to build new training, take care of members, and there's so many things that help me and there's so many things that help the members as well as far as better video players and i can tell you it's a fact we have a lot better uh success with the new video players and the new tracking system that's in the new site it's pretty darn amazing so i'm going to wrap it up on there so leave your questions down below if you are interested in joining go to helicopterground.com you can look at our different um products and service we have available for you members. Get back in there and look around. Uh, keep the feedback coming by your feedback over the last four years is how I've continued to build bigger and better training. So I'm really excited about how Online Ground School has grown in over four years. The momentum keeps growing, technology gets better, I get better, and we get more and more members all the time. So ready to take it to the next level. So please like, share this video, put your comments down below, and we'll see you in the next video.